I find week two to be fascinating. We'll get to it next week, but you're right. Week one, Miami took care of business. Texas A&M took care of business, put them together on the field and see what everybody's got. Now, I want to move over to the Big Ten because there's a couple of things I want to get to. <laughs> Let's start with the absolute embarrassment that's Michigan acting like Jim Harbaugh died. Can <laughs> we stop with the moment of the I formations, the fours up in the air? Look, three game suspension for allegedly fibbing to the NCAA. Let's let's quit acting like the guys in a hospital waiting to break out and coach. Yeah, and, and this isn't a case where the NCAA uh, forbid a star for North Carolina or or LSU from playing in a game. This this was agreed upon. This was self imposed. Uh, so so I mean, Michigan fans, I realize you're you know, you know you live in a different world up there uh, in in southern Canada. But the the point being. Uh, Talk to your talk to your athletic director. Talk to your president. Those are the those are the those are the cats that came up with that idea. The free Jim Harbaugh shirt that McCarthy was wearing, like they had fun with it. He and Blake Corman in the post game press conference, but it was almost getting funny. It was like we were doing a fundraiser for Harbaugh that that you just didn't know that he was okay. It's like man, the guy's sitting at home watching the game. We're good now. Michigan was also. I I think that's not a bad. It may not be a bad idea in the future just to leave Jim Harbaugh home on Saturday. (laughs) Just let him let him text message his uh, coaching tidbits from the sidelines. But they got the win yesterday. We're not surprised by that. JJ McCarthy looked good. Blake Corum looked good. Roman Wilson looked good. We've said it at length here on this show. Michigan coming into the season, not too many question marks, which is why they're one of the teams we're looking at as a college football playoff contender out of the Big Ten. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.